salutations, respective viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am uh, on Dean Street in London. Behind me, you can see the blue plaque up top. And that was the house where Karl Marx resided from 1851 to 56 with his uh, wife Jenny and their growing brood. Um, so Soho is uh, quite close to the centre of London, has got a bohemian reputation, a bit of it's the red light district uh, and indeed the gay village. Um, and in the um, 1850s, his reputation, well, was equally mixed, somewhat a slum. And, you know, uh, Central European refugees often congregated here, Marx being one of them. He fled to this country after the failure of the 1848 revolution in Germany. Um, it's the March 1848 revolution when various uh, liberals and socialists met, tried to unite Germany on a constitutional basis, have possibly constitutional monarchies, several republics, several battles fought. I shan't go through the whole rigmarole, but anyway, it was a failure. And Marx fetched up here because it was a country which, which uh, valued freedom of expression, uh, whereas continental countries on the whole didn't. So uh, there he was, 30 years old, he had a doctorate in philosophy, um, and um, he uh, mastered the English language. He was going to the uh, British Library, which is about, only about a mile to the north, and that led him to write his magnum opus, Das Kapital. Even in English, is almost always known by uh, its uh, German language title, so it's about capitalism and it's a critique thereof, how there's surplus value, how um, laborers are exploited and so on. So he had to uh, find ways to finance himself. He was a correspondent for this uh, New York newspaper, the International Herald Tribune. And in the um, uh, 20th century, that newspaper, of course, was a scourge of communism and would not like to be re reminded that the um, intellectual godfather of communism uh, was once a journalist of theirs. He also uh, worked as a ticket clerk in the railway station, so very unemployed given his exceptional intellectual gifts. Um, so uh, times are tough for the, for the Marx family um, and their wealthy friend Friedrich Engels regularly came around and uh, gave them a bung uh, and uh, they, they eventually moved out. It wasn't terribly healthy around here. There was the Broad Street pump not far away. Many people were dying of cholera because of, they, they were drinking filthy water. So that's Karl Marx. He lived on until 1881, spent the, the whole of the rest of his life in London, buried in Highgate Cemetery, which is a relatively new cemetery at the time. So sometimes they lived in straitened circumstances. I can't say it was exactly poverty. Um, so yeah, his descendants have lived on London ever since. I'm not sure if any of them even bear the name Marx though.